안녕하세요. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of my channel and today I'm bringing you in a very exciting activity. If you are focused enough, you will know that the activity is actually behind me. If you just see the screen, let's yori. Yori is actually cooked in Korean and today I'm just going to bring you to a Korean cooking class. I've seen them for a while and I'm very very excited to join them today for cooking. So let's head up to level 3. I think not nobody. Oh, by the way, today we're cooking beef bibimbap and soft tofu stew, okay? Let's go in. Okay. Just wait first, is it? Okay, okay. So here I am at the Korean cooking studio already and my class starts at 2. Basically, there's two different classes at this time. There's the naengmyeon class and the bibimbap and soft tofu stew class, okay? But I decided to put this one because Naughty said he preferred this one and they have a lot of classes in um, different timings also. You just have to book it online. It's very, very easy. Just click the link on their Instagram handle and then you'll be able to come in. Okay, so you guys also know how to speak Korean? Not really. <laughs> I know sometimes that they speak really like uh, normal. Yeah, maybe like a Korean. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so today our menu is soft tofu stew. This one, sundubujige, as well as uh, bibimbap. Beef bibimbap. I'm excited. Today I'm the chef. We have to wash our hands first before starting. Hygienic, hygienic. The first thing you have to do is fill one layer of water. I think we're making the sundubu chige first. Oh, perfect. No? Yes, perfect. Okay. Okay, and then we pour it in. Full blast water. Yes, I'm right. This is Tashima. And then she said to put it in. Okay, and then the anchovies parts you have to like break it up properly. So you have to take out the head first, squeeze it, open it, take out the intestine and the bone, then you put inside so that it's not bitter. Okay. So she said that all these ingredients you can find it in Xingxiang and anywhere else also. So if you see this video, please follow exactly. <laughs> but they say can eat it. You, you try one. My son. Mmm. ingredients first. Firstly, everything is already prepared here. So whatever you need to cook for this place is already prepared. We're gonna start with this. So I think it's kind of simple, the instructions. This one, she said you have to cut it like that. I mean, I also make this at home. Just that I'm not the one who make it. <laughs> but yes, this is spring onions, you can, which you can kind of get in the market. Leek, they call it leek. Okay, it's one done. And then, the next one is this one. They have something called eho bak. What is eho bak? Zucchini. Yeah. Then next the onions. I didn't know you need onions in sudu buchige, but okay. I'll cut it sliced because that's the only way I know how to do it. No. Mati is gonna try now. <laughs> Not bad, not bad. Ah, okay. Difficult, right? How do you feel? Uh, okay, it's fine. It's just different when someone has to check on the progress. He <laughs> got so thick, man. Why? Hello. It's okay, what? I'm cutting the capsicum. Thank you. 
brush guys, 2 teaspoons of sugar Okay, 2 teaspoons I'm sure it's flat guys Anna. 2 1 tablespoon of garlic So we add one and a half tablespoon, yeah? Because Noki is a Korean 1 tablespoon of soy sauce guys Oh, gin. Gin sauce. Black pepper. Ah, okay. I'll crush it. Mix. I haven't started. Ours is too much garlic, <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wow, it smells so, so good. <laughs> so now we're gonna add the meat into the sauce. Woo! Okay. And then mix. Wow, it smells so good, guys. <gasps> I didn't know this is how you make bulgogi. I think I'll watch my own video to cook myself. Should we try? I don't know. one tablespoon of the one tablespoon of the kochujang inside here. You need to add half a tablespoon of sesame oil. And there's a half circle inside. Yeah, so I'm gonna just add half a tablespoon. Okay. Some sesame. Okay, so now we're gonna cook the eggs first. So two of it is for the bibimbap, two of it is for the sundu jjigae. And I'm gonna cook the bibimbap first. Right? Yeah, bibimbap first. I'm gonna make sunny side up. Um, it's my speciality. Oh yeah, so you can cook it after your liking. You can cook it sunny side up or scrambled eggs, but usually sunny side up is better because when you mix it, it's nicer. First, you need to put cooking oil a little bit. Okay. Break the yolk, babe. Don't, 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 don't. I want it to have the yolk. Okay, so for us, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fry the spinach first. So when you stir fry the veggies, you must put a bit of salt to taste. You just have to repeat this for all of the veggies for the bean bar. Okay, now I hope that we're going. So now I'm going to make the Purigogis. Ooh, basketball. Okay guys, we're done. Well, I was got so much garlic. Garlic is nice. We're going to do the Sundu Bichige first. The first thing you have to do is... Oh, cooking oil, cooking oil. Oh. So the more you put, that's the secret. It becomes even nicer, so... Maximo! <laughs> you want to cook the onions and the leek first. What? A leek. And you must fry it until, not say it turns brown, but you just fry it a bit first until there is a scent. And then prepare your kochukaru, chili powder. You want to put two tablespoons. And if it's, you want it to be more spicy, three tablespoons. But I'm going to do two tablespoons, okay? The basic. Okay. One. And two. And then once again, you're going to stir until the aroma comes out. Yeah, so you have to keep stirring it so that it will not uh, burn. Because once you put the chili flakes, it's easily burned if you don't take a look at it. So you just want to keep stirring. Okay, stir. But it looks so pretty, right? The red color. <laughs> So usually at home when we cook, we just use the instant one. So it's my first time making from scratch also. I wonder how it tastes like. After this, we want to put in the seafood. Ooh. It's your first time doing from scratch also, right? I think so. Alright, we always use the sauce. And after this, we want to put one tablespoon of manu. 
and a little bit of huchu. Okay, that's it. Okay, after this, this is what we cooked just now. Not ikchot, 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 ikchot. Ta no ta. Okay, then after that, this one plus sugar. So by the way, I find that this class is really interesting because you get to do maybe like as an activity with your partner and then you also get to learn about like the Korean sort of um, dish, traditional dish from scratch and they use ingredients. What's so good about this cooking studio is because it's in Singapore, they use all the ingredients that you can find in Singapore. Not like, you know, sometimes when they cook in Korea, you might not be able to find the ingredients but they tell you what to use. So, good, right? Good, yeah. And I think the person is Korean so they know how to linearly change. Yeah. yeah. I think it's legit, guys. It's boiling already. Can I put in first? Okay, and then two tablespoons of this egg tart. Egg tart is like fish sauce. Look at this! Sugar, one tablespoon. <laughs> That's <laughs> sweet, baby. Oh, it doesn't go off. It doesn't all of it. Okay, then after you want to put in the zucchini and the chili. Put all, lah. Yeah. Okay, usually rice cooker, the Korean one, and they use Korean rice so it looks so much better. Okay. Okay guys, so I'm gonna plate it nicely. I'm just gonna start with this color. Wow, it's not easy to do. I can do it, I can do it. I'm good at it. I'm not good. Okay, now I'm gonna end off with the sundubus. Okay guys, so we're done with the cooking already. You can also eat it once we're done. So we're gonna go out and eat it. Kacha! Okay, guys, it's time to eat, guys. You're just gonna talk about the taste, right? Yeah. Okay. Ah, well done! Yay! Okay, let's eat. Never see myself cooking Korean food in Singapore with a Singaporean wife. What a, what a life. Should we put inside this? Yeah. Ta? Ta? Yeah. Because it's two portions actually ours. But the rice is not too portion this one. Uh, it's okay. Let me try the soup while we eat. Okay. Oh, looks legit, man. Ooh, I'm just gonna mix it, ah. Uh. Ah. Mm. I'm mixing the bibimbap. Oh, I very don't like bibimbap because of this fella. He don't really eat it. Yeah. Right. He's not a big fan. Yep. I only eat in the flight now, this. Yeah. Not easy, ah. I don't like this eating process where I need to stir this. That's the beauty of it. But, oh, man. I like when it's mixed. Already? Yeah. Okay. PBL Jin pub, then it's good. <laughs> it's kind of tiring. Got done. Ha. And I'll try the soup. I'm trying the soup, guys. Mmm. <laughs> Do you just kick my chair? Chakam. <laughs> good. Mmm. Right hmm? mm. Actually, it really tastes like the one made in home. It's not like really restaurant style. Mm. But because I think we see all the procedure. Mm. Yeah, we have more feelings towards the food. Mm. Wait, this is good for you. Wow. See my name? I really like the sundubu though. Wow, really good. But I think I prefer chadol sundubu. Ah, uh, you don't beef. really like the seafood one. No, it's not don't like, but I prefer. But don't like. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> not bad. Huh? You cook and you get to eat it. Mm. Yeah, everything is prepared for you. Good activity for copper. Mm. I see they carry out team bonding event also. I think team bonding event not bad. Oh, so nice though. I like it. Oh, not bad actually. Really mm. good. We recommend this to people coming here and try. I mean, it's important to try. Not bad. Or you get to know how to exactly cook it correctly. Yeah, I think not bad. Actually, I don't know how to cook it from scratch. So actually, 
Mm. Even me, I hardly make it from scratch. I mean, even hardly, US from it's Singapore, just never. I'm pretty sure you don't make a nasi lemak from scratch. Unless it's True. a big event. Even Bakuti, you buy the packet and boil it up. True. The same thing. I think once you farm, you can take picture of it and you can make it in your home. Yeah, that's one good thing. No, I mean, so. Mmm. It's just like some bulgogi or something. Guys, I filmed an ending but there was a problem with the camera so I'm just going to talk a little bit about the cooking class. So basically, we did the uh, beef bibimbap as well as the sumputu jjigae and I think it was a very interesting experience and I just wish that um, I don't think it's very cheap but I think it's very um equivalent to what you get you get to cook everything is prepared for you you get to eat and the people there are nice you get to learn from a korean instructor and so on and so forth there's so many benefits from just 80 bucks that you pay for this class so i'm very very thankful to be able to join let's yuri cooking studio in this experience and i hope that you guys are able to go there and learn more other recipes from them yeah okay so um, they do have bookings not only on Google but also as well as Klook. So be sure to check them out, okay? So I wish you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned to the next Korean video. Bye!